starting off to prove this trig identity. We come down here, and actually we're going to use a trig property. In the numerator, we have sine squared theta. What we're going to do is convert this into uh, 1 minus cosine squared theta. You'll see why we're doing that. And then on the numerator or denominator, we still have 1 plus cosine theta. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to write down 1 minus, and then we can break this up into 1 minus cosine theta and 1 plus cosine theta. But we still have this denominator here. We have the 1 plus cosine theta. So what happens here is these two cancel out, and we have 1 minus quantity 1 minus cosine theta. What you need to be careful about here is you got to distribute the minus sign, so we get 1 minus 1 plus cosine theta. These ones cancel off and you're left with cosine theta. And that's it. That's how we solve it.